Whoa. Y you called her an old lady, but she's beautiful. She looks so stylish, and I can tell she had a big heart, too. Meanwhile, you look very obnoxious. But you both look happy here. Yeah, it's not like we were starving or anything. She made good money working the night shifts. She had enough to keep us little punks fed and still managed to put some away. But yeah, I guess I am grateful to her. Most people wouldn't spend eight years raising some brat one of their regulars threw at him. I see. You must have been pretty young when you got adopted. If she passed away six years ago, eight years before that, you would have been three or four? Hell, I don't even remember. What I can say for sure is that she was a very caring and strong woman. Maybe a little too trusting for her own good, though. Oh, and her cooking was so damn bad, I had to take over myself at one point. <laughs> what a cute family you must have been. She sounds like a truly wonderful mother. If you don't mind me asking, how did she pass away? A damn tumor. Took her away in the blink of an eye. She was always looking out for everyone else, but Adio sure as hell didn't look out for her. Well, life's a bitch. What else is new? Ash. <laughs> all right, buck up, people. Don't need your tears making this place all humid. It's supposed to be a dry climate. <laughs> I admit, that's pretty clever. And surprisingly accurate, given that we're in the middle of a valley. On that note, I think I might let some air in. What do you say? It seems like someone's been cleaning the place, but it's still a bit dusty. Works for me. I could use a breeze. 